Unionville High School Football Highlights, brought to you by the Unionville Times. This week, the Indians host the Chamonix to start the PIA Section 1 playoffs. Hey, are you ready for some playoff football? The Chamonix got it going early. After an interception, scoring here midway through the first. 7 0, the Chamonix. Unionville had some trouble getting its vaunted running game going here. Look, Richard Sampson gets a good run here. But look, you know, they stop him before he breaks away. And now, watch this contain here. There's no running room at all. Down he goes. Another trouble spot punt blocking. Chris Baker was harassed all night, and here is a block. Fortunately, uh, Shamney fumbled immediately after. Um, but Unionville struggled all day. Get blocks here. Nice run by the by Tom Pankos. Every time they got momentum, though, to Shamini get the ball back. And here they drive again down the length of the field. And in for the score. 14 0 Redskins. Indians didn't quit, though. Fighting back. Richard Sampson had 80 yards on 21 carries, more than 1,500 yards for the season. But it was a tough battle all day long. One of a couple key plays here. Pancoast rolls and throws and just misses the connection to Doug Ott. Oh, that would have been a game changer. And then on the next play, Pancoast is sacked. That was a fourth down, turned the ball over. Unfortunately, left a minute and a half for Neshaminy, and they drove right down the field and scored to make it 21-0 at the half. The Indians didn't quit, though. Watch this, Richard Sampson breaks it to the left, 30 yards. Looks like he's in for the score, but oh no, a holding penalty, and it's coming back. Neshaminy tough, but you know the Indians never quit. Look at this effort by Sampson. He just won't give up. But it wasn't enough. Neshaminy brought their A game. Watch this reverse pass. Justin Andrews to Bobby Martorella, and that was the capper. 28-0 Neshaminy. Still a great season for Unionville football, 9-2.